Dear listeners, our paper is boosting perceptual resolution of VR displays. In this video, we'll briefly introduce our proposed framework, which is used to improve the insufficient resolution that VR headsets usually have. Due to the low pixel density of the display, VR headsets do not have a satisfying user experience. However, human eyes are able to integrate the subpixel information through eye movements. By inserting appropriate high frequency details between the frames, the user will be able to perceive high resolution frames in their eyes. This is the architecture of our framework. First, we crop a region of interest where the user gazes at and fit them into a convolutional neural network to generate the high frequency details. These details, called perceptual frames, forms a high frame rate region. Before they can be fused back to the original content, the flickering edge between them and the unprocessed region has to be addressed. The way we deal with this edge is to synthesize additional frames to simulate the low frame rate appearance. By gradually decreasing the simulated frame rate, we are able to make the edge unperceivable. The effectiveness of our framework and this method is validated in the following user experiments. We conduct two user experiments with a VR headset. First, certain regions of the videos are processed by our framework, and participants are asked to judge if the resolution inside the region is better than outside. Also, they are asked if they perceive a discontinuous edge while the gazes follow the region. And the results suggest that most participants perceive better resolution when looking at the process of the region without noticing the discontinuous edge. Here's our overall contributions. We, pro we propose a framework that boosts the perceptual resolution of VR displays. It consists of a convolutional neural network for producing perceptual frames and a novel method for blending high frame rate regions into low frame rate ones. Finally, we really appreciate the reviewers for accepting our paper and thanks all for listening.